since we spoke about this before, there's this thing going around with I blame Queen Nyjah with the most random things people blame Queen for. Now, Queen had enough. On Twitter yesterday, someone tweeted, y'all, I literally don't feel good and I blame Queen Nyjah. So Queen responded with, you don't feel good because you're participating in cyber bullying and God don't like ugly. It's not even a joke anymore. At this point, it's harassment and hate. I would start suing y'all, but there's no point because y'all are broke. Then someone posts an old interaction of Queen telling someone to take a bleach bath. And Queen responds with, yeah, I was clapping back at someone for coming at me first, calling me dirty, which you can't see. You gonna let someone talk to you any type of way? Then someone responds with, yeah, because being a colorist is an amazing comeback. Queen responds with, that's not colorist at all. LOL, a bleach bath doesn't mean bleach skin, idiot. It cleans you. Then Queen says, I never bullied anyone a day in my life. I was speaking on people who bullied me. I used the term to describe hair, not skin, which offended some people. I apologized and addressed it. Y'all gonna keep bringing that up forever. And I'm gonna keep telling y'all the same thing. And Queen also says, to be honest, the term nappy in my case just meant hair was not combed out. My hair is nappy when I don't comb it. So is my kids and my mom and sisters. There's nothing wrong with 4C hair. I had a different mindset back then. So what do you guys think about that? When your hair is not combed, do you say that it's nappy? Let me know down in the comment section below. She also says, I love black women of all shades. I don't think my skin is better than anyone else's. I don't think my hair is better than anyone else's. Like every other human I said some wrong things in my past and grew from that so when people keep bringing it up I'm gonna feel away so let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below do you guys feel like queen has redeemed herself and people should stop bringing up the past let me know down in the comment section below now I do want to get on to this next topic with Miss Diera because my DM was flooded yesterday when Diera posted this photo of the stud Jazz holding a pillow with Diera's face on it. Now Diera also posted photos of her cousin and the trainer holding the exact same pillow. So is this any more clues as to if Diera and Jazz are actually in a relationship? No. Diera is not going to let us in on that information right now. But I mean she's given us enough clues for us to assume what we want to assume with this situation and I think that they are dating again she's not going to let us know for sure seems like they may just be having fun and may not be in a relationship but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below now let's move on to this next topic with Chris Leslie and this whole raffle situation I posted in a recent video that Chris has been riding around in this car and he has has not yet gave the car away which was supposed to be given away at the end of March well Martin Lewis actually went to rafflecreator.com now I did the exact same thing and got the same outcome because I tried to speak to a representative there and it was nearly impossible to speak with anyone but Martin took an extra step and he actually created a profile now if you guys didn't know Chris is stating that he chose a winner the person hasn't respond to him and he doesn't know how to go in and pick another winner. So when Martin created his profile, he did this to see if he was able to choose multiple winners. And if he was, then that would tell you guys that Chris was not being truthful. Now he did post the outcome of this. And I want you guys to go over to his channel 
channel to watch and see exactly what came from this because I do want you to support because he had to pay money to actually create this profile. So head over to his channel to see the outcome of that. I will link that video down in the description. Now he also messaged Leslie. He said, hey Leslie, sending you a courtesy message before I make my video in two hours regarding this car raffle that you promoted on your page. Seems like you were a part of it due to what is in the raffles bio. I have two questions. How come a winner has not been chosen yet are you going to speak on the situation since you have promoted it on your channel how involved were you in this raffle now leslie responded with hey martin i'm going to address the situation oh he also messaged chris something similar and chris hasn't messaged him back so again you guys head over to his channel so you can see the outcome of if martin was able to pick another winner winner but let's move on to this next topic with Nair and Jalen. I'm not really sure if they officially came out to let everyone know that they are not together anymore, but it's clear to see that they are not. Now, people spotted Jalen in a TikTok that had people questioning, does Jalen have a new boo? Oh, I actually do cuss a little. Do you? <laughs> also, What's yeah. your favorite curse word? So as you can see here, she's in a TikTok with Michaela and two other guys. Now, people in the comments were kind of confused as to what was going on here. They were saying things like, wait, she got a new man? Why they broke up? Wait, that's Jay. What? They broke up? Oh, wow. Wait, where is Nair? What an upgrade. She upgraded for sure. Nair punching walls right now. So Jalen actually did see these comments and she responded with, that's not my man. It was just a video shoot for Rockstar. Um, Jalen has been hanging around Michaela a lot. Now, if you guys don't know who Michaela is, she is the ex-girlfriend of Nate Got Keys. Now, they've been out partying with celebrities. They were at Terrence J's birthday party with Tiana Taylor, as well as other celebrities. So let me know what you guys Think about that down in the comment section below. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if Jalen does actually have an upgrade coming soon. I mean, she's out partying with the stars right now. Who knows? She may be dating a basketball player or an actor next. But again, let me know what you guys think about this and everything else in this video down in the comment section below.